Hello, this is a Macintosh C20 tube preamplifier. It belongs to my friend Steve and he wants me to replace the volume knob. I am extremely excited about having this unit at Tiny Bench because I never had the pleasure of listening to one of these units and I heard that they are extremely musical. So I am going to show you how I replace the volume knob. So let's get started. Here's the switch that we're going to replace. As you can see, these two colors are the same. These two cables also have the same color. If you're not careful, you could make a mistake. Well, I tell you what, the new one is much tighter. This is loose. This one here, nice and rigid. Woof. Wow, much better. This is the old piece. This little bitty tab goes into a hole in the chassis and prevent this assembly from rotating. The new part doesn't have it. Okay, that's a problem because when you apply a torque uh, to turn the unit on and off, this part would rotate okay so we have a problem we need that tab i think i may be able to take it from the old part from the old assembly and put it into the new assembly i'm not 100 percent sure i started as you can see i got a, this tabs bent up so i'm gonna go ahead and take this one apart and take a look and see how it goes That is the little tab that we need. So here's my plan. I want to drill that center piece out and epoxy this piece onto the new switch. Wish me good luck. And please comment any alternative ideas. Okay guys, do you have any ideas? I'm just gonna start with two dabs. In case it doesn't sit correctly, I can, you, you know, remove it and, and do it again. But hopefully it should be okay the first time. Okay, now we're testing the volume assembly with just two dabs of epoxy to see if everything is okay. And if everything is okay, we'll go ahead and finish adding more epoxy to make it stronger. All right, guys, I went around the whole thing. It is now permanently attached. Thank you. 
and we are done. Time for testing, fingers crossed. I have been listening to the unit and what I can tell you is it has all the tube sound sweetness that you can imagine, obviously, um, especially with these tubes. You know, this thing has nice tubes. You know, these tubes are handpicked by Steve, the owner, a connoisseur, a very knowledgeable audiophile, and it has been, you know, finely tuned to his liking. And it is incredibly smooth and all the, like I said, all the tube sound goodness that you could imagine. But there was one quality that really impressed me was that uh, listening to uh, an outdoor live performance, I really heard the sound of being outside. It was like the, um, the sound stage was as if I was outside on a, on a coliseum or, or, or something. It's like my walls disappeared and, uh, and then having the sensation of uh, being outside. Well, you know what? This is my subjective perception. That's all I can tell you was just uh, magnificent and uh, spectacular. So I am going to go over the funnel stage and uh, measure resistors and, and stuff like that just to just to make sure everything's uh, okay. There was about a 90 degree discrepancy in the angle of where the cut was in the shaft. So I rotated the whole assembly 90 degrees and pretty much epoxied the new part at, at the exact angle so that the off would lined up with a line on the volume. So let me show you how it works. We turn it off and that lines up beautifully. I would strongly recommend you don't use this switch. Put on an external switch or use it on a variac at 110, 117 volts because look, the switch is already in the back and these units are anchored all the way in the front. So every time you flip the switch on and off, you're applying a torque through the entire assembly. So there is a, a certain um, uh, degree of deformation. There's elasticity in the metal. So every single time you turn this unit on and off, you can only do that so many times before the unit becomes so loose and the entire assembly starts shifting and you start losing tracking. It just applies too much torque to the entire assembly. I have one more night to enjoy the Macintosh C20 preamplifier before the owner picks it up tomorrow and I will. So I'm going to be listening to some more music uh, with it tonight, but this time I'm going to connect it to the Macintosh MC275. So it's gonna be a 100% tube. And I wanna thank you very much for watching my video. And I wanna wish you good health. I wanna wish you well-being, happiness, and lots of love. And if you like my video, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Problem solved. Problem solved.